With our introduction of the V4 pogo stick, we've been getting asked one main question over and over again. What is the V4 and why is it any better than the V3? The V4 is our newest pogo stick. It takes all of the successful designs built into the V3 and adds some innovative new parts that completely change the game. After testing the V4 for nearly a year now, we asked seven-time Pogo Palooza champion, world record holder, and ex-Pogo veteran bouncer Biff Hutchison to give his opinion. Hey guys, Biff Hutchison here. I'm super excited to talk to you about Vertigo's new baby, the V4. The V4 has been completely re-engineered both inside and out, making it steps above the rest, without a doubt the best pogo stick on the market today. The V4 takes the height potential of the V3 and couples it with a revolutionary new setup. By eliminating the shock tower and replacing it with the cup technology, new peg setup, and new shock donut, you get over 14 more cubic inches of air. That added air makes the jump much smoother and easier to control makes it easier to obtain crazy heights and easier to practice, land, and perfect new tricks. When you put those new guts in a shell with redesigned breather holes and added airflow, you've got a stick that pushes past the previous limitations of the V3 and V2 models. The V4 is a complete game changer. Jumping on my V4, my whole game has changed. From landing previously unheard of flips to being able to jump higher with less effort it's the softest and most responsive stick I've ever jumped on. To quote veteran athlete and ex-pogo pioneer Nick McClintock, it's like trying to backflip a cloud. If you're serious about your pogo game and want to make it the best it can be, shell out the extra bucks for the V4. You'll be glad you did. It is absolutely, without doubt, the way to go. Okay, so Biff nailed down all of the benefits for getting a V4 but it's time to take a look at the guts that he referred to so that you can get a better idea of what's changed. The first and most significant change we've made is this air piston. By combining the V3 spacer and piston into one new giant cup-shaped piston, we are now able to store 14 additional cubic inches of air inside of the cylinder. And it may not sound like a lot, but that 14 inches changes everything. It makes this ride softer, smoother, and easier than ever before. We spent some time trying to figure out the best way to visually demonstrate the difference between the V4 and the V3. While we can easily show you some side-by-side -side videos, who's to say we're not just favoring the V4? This is our solution. Get the two pogo sticks side-by-side -side and set them to zero PSI. When we drop the V3, you can see that the bounce is a bit slow and sluggish. However, when we drop the V4, you can see that it actually springs up into the air a little bit. It's a much different bounce. Without any better way to describe it, this is exactly how it feels when you bounce. So in the end, when making the decision between the two, remember this. If you want to cruise around, jump pretty high, and get some good exercise, the V3 is the way to go. It's been the best pogo stick in the world for years, and we're not changing anything about that. If, however, you're looking for something to come along and absolutely blow your mind, the V4 really is the best pogo stick we've ever made. Either way, you're not going to go wrong. Happy bouncing.